What's up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so I just wanted to pop on here to introduce this video. So this is video four in the series where we are going to be counting down different Berkeley students with different majors before the college admissions decisions are released. So you can see what different kinds of students day in the lives are and then maybe come to UC Berkeley. So let's get started. Hey, what is up everybody? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I guess I did a little uh, shape-shifting and I'm a different person. Just kidding. I'm actually her friend, Kenny Park. I'm a graduating senior, just like Rachel is. We're actually in the same major, legal studies. And so, as you've seen, she's doing different videos with different friends from different majors. And so, I guess I'm taking the legal studies humanities portion of this. Also, if you notice, like, my schedule is really easy from what the videos will show, but that's also because this is my last semester. I only have two classes really like in another like elective class from like Haas. The workload is a little not representative of what legal studies actually is. It's actually very demanding and a lot of work. I just did everything ahead of time so I saved everything till now. Anyways I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully this helps you a lot in making decisions. Uh, congrats to everyone who just got into Berkeley. So what is up everyone? It is currently uh I, I don't even know what time it is actually right now. But anyways I'm wearing my favorite Patagonia shirt and I am just doing the little legal studies section of this video for Rachel. My day is pretty boring actually as a graduating senior. I only have two classes today. And so right now I'm just kind of walking around, just chilling, doing some homework, gonna go uh, to a library and study. But it's really not that not that big. Like I, w I worked out earlier, didn't really get any footage of that. Sorry, Rachel. But the day is pretty straightforward. If I give you a rundown, it's like work out at like, you know, 9, 10 a.m. and go eat lunch and then go to my first class at uh 3 p.m and then have a little hour break in between and then another class at five which i'll show you later uh, but that's pretty much it and so as a senior your course load is a little little better but for all the incoming freshmen they see this yeah it's going to be a pretty packed schedule i would say and so uh, just take it with a grain of salt this video yeah this is what you will actually get to as a senior i hope but the first couple of years are going to be pretty jam-packed and i'm sure there'll be a lot more studying in class you have going on so i'm actually with rachel we just finished an exam right now together it was legal studies 177. anyways you obviously have midterms in college and some are good some are bad what do you think of this one they picked the worst prompt we were talking <laughs> about it beforehand right like number two as the prompt was just not fun yeah so you might get bad prompts or bad exams but it's okay at the end of the day uh, give what you got. Let the GSIs have a good essay to to read. <laughs> <He's such a laughs> <piece up. laughs> but yeah, the day keeps going on. Uh, later, I have another class, and so does she. She has another midterm, so you have more than one test off in one day. So just be on the lookout for that, guys. Big poopy in my pants. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It is currently five o'clock right now. I am on my way to my last class of the day. You can choose your schedule here at Cal. I mean like every college, but I chose to strategically do Monday, Wednesdays only, but I ended at 6.30. So did some work earlier, fell asleep a little bit because you know, let's be real. It's a, it's a long day, but finishing up the day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Gonna go hang out with some friends. I'll probably record a little bit of, you know, going to a restaurant called Jupiter with some some friends of mine that I live with and just have a good time. So currently outside uh, Jupiter, as you can see on Shattuck, uh, this is a pretty popular place for people to meet. This is my first time though, going with friends. So just waiting for them and it's uh, almost seven o'clock. So pretty much wraps up the day. Anyways though, we'll go into the kind of the questions and answers that Rachel and I were talking about that might be helpful. Number one would be why choose legal studies major? For me personally, I actually, didn't come into Berkeley or Cal as like a intended, you know, pre-law legal studies major. I actually wanted to come here for the business school. Um, as a lot of people know, Haas is one of the best undergraduate programs for business in the country. And so I went in thinking that, you know, I'd kill it at school and apply into my sophomore year and then get it. But as you will see in college, your plans actually don't end up always what you're hoping for. And that's for the better and whatnot. I didn't get into Haas. And so legal studies was not a backup, but another interest I had. And so like a pro tip that I'll give you is if you do certain AP exams and certain like classes you'll pick specifically in your first and second year, you can actually get into the major faster because they allow some AP credits to satisfy some of the requirements. So that'd be a huge thing. That's what I did. So I could get into the major really early. But yeah, that's just a realistic thing. I uh, wanted to be business and didn't get in, but I'm just so happy of 
I uh, am in a legal studies major. And so that might shift to like number two, which is why I like the legal studies major. And honestly, like in my most genuine opinion, I think legal studies is one of the best majors at Berkeley. A lot of pre-law people go poli-sci or they might even go econ or like English or history, but the legal studies major is super small, like barely a couple hundred people, but the staff and faculty really make the difference. You know, whether it was getting letters of rec for when I was applying to law school or just connecting with like teachers during class and in office hours, you know, even just simply as emailing them or chatting with them for a copy, it's been They've been the biggest part of my experience. Uh, there are not too many professors, but they all really, really care. And I would highly recommend taking a lot of courses. Some teachers I've taken courses like multiple times with, like I took Professor Brown like now, and I took his class last semester with Rachel. We actually decided to join because we liked him so much. And like Professor Marshall, who I had for a couple classes, Professor Katyal, who I've had, Professor Simon, Perry, etc. And like even now, Professor Pellet, who's like a visiting professor uh, from Israel. Like I, the professors are uh, honestly such great people. And that's honestly the reason why I have loved the major and also like the people. Like Rachel is one of my really good friends here at Berkeley and I met her through class. So, you know, that's pretty convenient. Also number three is, do I think being a legal studies major helps for someone going into law school? And so I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, I am currently waiting for a few more schools, but I'm going to law school in the Yay! fall. And so I am just kind of waiting to see where I, my options are. Typically they say like, oh, you know, it might be nice to be engineering or math or something STEM-like because it'll increase your chances. I mean, I mean, honestly, like if you want to go into law, it doesn't really matter what major you want to do. For those who are interested in legal studies, I think it's going to help for sure from my discussions with professors at actual law schools that they, they've they told me like how they do tests and how they read. And that's exactly how we do it legal studies. It's like a lot of times you IRAC, which is like kind of like a way of reading Supreme Court cases and whatnot, and just writing as analytical essays and things. Very similar to the thinking of law school. So I think that's been super helpful. I think I'm confident that I'll do well. Um, because I was prepared by my professors here. So like just in general, like tips with legal studies and also Berkeley in general, reading is really important because if for anyone who's watching this, you're probably thinking about law school and you know that reading is like essentially everything a lawyer does besides like litigation lawyers who like talk and trial and stuff. It's really important to read all the cases and readings if you can. Obviously college is about strategizing and knowing when to put your effort into something or not. I read all the stuff because I think it's not only interesting but also it's it's helpful. Another thing that I got Rachel and another one of our friends Amanda to do is to sit in the front of classes. I started sitting in the front of the classes my sophomore second semester and ever since then my grades have been like the best they've ever been because is uh, when you sit in the front, you connect with the professors better, you can't be on your phone, you are paying attention way more. And it's, I always thought it was baloney, but honestly, my biggest tip would be sitting in the front and really just trying to dive deep in the material. I think it'll really help you. I mean, it helped me and I struggled my first year really badly. Finally, I think just some other tips that would help you guys uh, being a legal studies major is you know, just making good friends in certain classes. Like you don't have to be like the most popular person and meet like every single person in class. But what I always did was I met one or two people, for example, Rachel and our friend Amanda, two friends that I always texted and like hit up in class and they would, um, we would share notes with each other. We'd help each other whenever we were writing essays and uh, going over stuff. And it's been really, really a good time. I would highly recommend finding like a friend in each class. That would be really good. Also very important is go to office hours. Like so, so cliche. Like everyone says, go to office hours, go to office hours. But I would go to office hours because I would be confused on the material. And also I just want to get to know my professors because these are, they're human beings too. They're personable. And it really helped me in applying to law school because when I was applying uh, at the, the fall semester of senior year, I didn't think like, oh, am I going to struggle to get a letter rec? Like I knew multiple professors who I could ask and had a decent relationship or a great relationship with. And I think based on my acceptances so far, I hope that part of it was because I had strong letters of rec. So go to office hours and uh, you know, you're not there to like kiss butt or like stuff like that. You're there to genuinely connect with professors and get to know them and dive deep into the material. So if you do all those things, I have no doubt you'll succeed in legal studies. A lot of people finish the major early. A lot of people do double majors too, like, you know, Rachel's Cogsci major. Uh, as well as legal studies and so it's definitely manageable anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video i uh, hope this was informative and not too 
r running on and boring and stuff but really you know congrats on berkeley and if you're considering i highly recommend you come it's already amazing that you got into berkeley i hope you guys enjoy it and if you choose it go bears wearing my cow shirt to a to, to represent the video and everything anyways support rachel's channel she's been doing amazing work and we'll see you guys later take care